on Enter Biafra uh, live streaming app and those of you watching from YouTube, I'm just addressing those watching from Facebook, uh, informing them that we are live and uh, we are going to address uh, this uh, flyer for fundraising for ESN uh, be to take place on the 17th of this month. So for those who want to get uh, gossip, I want it is time this is an opportunity to, to come and get the gossip. And those of you who want to, who your job is to come and twist uh, what I'm going to do here, you are highly welcome to get the information and twist it. But what I'm going to do now is that I will switch off the uh, Facebook. Those of you watching from Facebook, I'm going to switch off from Facebook like you know, we no longer broadcast through Facebook for the reason that Facebook is not a reliable place. They have disappointed us. Uh, we cannot be broadcasting today and tomorrow they, they block the page and close the page and all that. So, and uh, if you notice for the fact that we have not been broadcasting on Facebook, uh, they have not restricted us. But had it been, I have been making all these broadcasts on Facebook, they probably more have, may have blocked me. So for this reason, we are going off and see you on Eta Biafra live streaming app live and direct see you there and after this we are going to have 15 minute rest and then we go into our exposition proper all right um first of all first of all welcome to the program this is the 15th day of uh, October 2021, and I have come to address the uh, the proposed ESN fundraising bill to take place on the 17th of this month, 17th of October 2021, that uh, some, some uh, scrupulous individuals uh, are raging and shouting like uh, mad dogs. So I have come to address it. One thing I want to tell Biafrans is that this is very, very important for us to address because the, uh, the, uh, the strategy, what uh, some people who uh, have opportunity to be in the leadership of uh, IPOB and this leadership of Biafra movement is that uh, some of the actions and the decisions and their word are something that we don't know how and where it is coming from. What do they stand to achieve by that? And uh, so, in uh, in order to instead of instead of uh, being a uh, managing crisis, instead of crisis management, they are creating the crisis. That is not how to be a good leader. That is not how to do, that is not how to be in leadership. Leadership is you try as much as possible to be at the receiving end. When things are being thrown at you, you try to manage it. You don't create when there are no problems. Now, 
it has become very imperative that I respond to what was said on Radio Biafra yesterday. And I am not here to attack, but rather I am here to lecture. I have come here to lecture. I have come here to advise. I have come here to also expose. And at the same time, tell those our donors, especially the people who took it upon themselves, to always make their finance available for the struggle for Biafra restoration. Very, very important. Very, very important. Now, we don't want people to continue to sow the seed of discord, to bring confusion in the mind of those contributing money for ESN. The heart of the Biafra restoration struggle has been placed in the heart of ESN. The ESN has become the backbone of the struggle. I don't need to know ESN. I don't need to have link with ESN. I don't need to know commanders of ESN. I don't need to have any relation with ESN. I don't need to have any uh, a link with ESN. I don't need to have that. I don't need to know who they are. Okay? But in organization, there is what is called administrative procedures. And the leadership is responsible for the administrative day-to-day -day running of this organization for the struggle for Biafra. You don't go and create fear into the mind of those who are bringing their finance to support you. If you do that, you are either pretending but working for somebody else, working for some, somebody's interest, working so, for, a, for, for a different interest group than, than the restoration for Biafra. Why am I saying this? I am saying this because yesterday on Radio Biafra, one of them came and spoke evil and spoke in a manner that is very, very disdain. In a manner that nobody would want to, to associate him or herself with such individual. Whether it is for liberation force, whether it, it is for freedom fighting, and what have you. I want to lecture Biafra people today on something very, very important. For the fact that I have been around for a very short while, in this struggle. I have been around for a very, very, very short while. But I have been involved in creating awareness for fundraising since the launching of ESN. Since the launching of ESN, I have participated in almost all the fundraising. I have nothing to do with finance. I am not holding any leadership position in IPOB. I am not a signatory to any account in IPOB. But this is a task. I chose to do because I believe that God gave me some kind of talent or gift to be able to discharge the duty in that particular tax of fundraising. Among other things. 
So the question now is, when our leader was, abdu was abducted and kidnapped, a lot has been going on. I have ignored them. The reason I have come to educate our people this evening is because this have now struck the heart of this movement. The heart of this movement is in ESN. And like I said, I do not need to know them. I do not need to be part of ESN. I do not need to have contact to them. But I have been part of raising this fund to sustain the ESN. And that I will continue to do. Because I know the importance of this security outfit in the struggle for restoration of Biafra. The question now is, why would somebody who is a leader or who call himself a leader will come to Radio Biafra and sow a seed of discord instead of being in position to manage crisis? This is a question that I'm throwing at every Biafran today. How do this person create and sow the seed of discord? Let me tell you one. One is, you don't come and start shouting to people that, that claim, let me, let me even use the, use the word claim, that they want to raise funds for the ESN. The people that are contributing this money, they are contributing their own money willingly to support ESN. You don't come on Radio Biafra to shout and accuse people without substance. Accuse people and create confusion in the mind of people who want to contribute for ESN. You don't do that. And if it is because of ignorant, you have to make it clear that it is because of ignorant that made the person to come and do such. But what you ought to have done as somebody discussing a very sensitive matter concerning this struggle is one, you ask yourself a question. The fund that is being raised, which account is it going? Is it a verified account of ESN? Is it a proof account by our leader, Mazinam Dikano? Is this account in the flyer that I posted on Facebook and on social media? Approved account by Mazinam Dikano? That is number one question. And if the answer to this question is yes, that that is the approved account of Mazinam Dikano, what do you do? You contact the people who are raising this fund. After contacting them, they say, no, 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 we don't want to, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need to contact us. You, you keep quiet. After, during the raising of this fund, every fund for ESN has always been recorded. It has been always open access to Zoom, where people will come and watch and listen to those who are contributing and making donations. So if you have anything against the people organizing this fundraising, what do you do? You come to that fundraising. You take it upon yourself. Record what you have to record. Take note of donors. Take note of those donating. Take note of the amount donated. Remember that when this amount is being donated, it is going directly to the ESN account. It is not being paid in cash to those you call criminals. 
who actually have contributed more than most of you in all the years you have spent in IPOB. Your monetary and your risk you have taken, some of them have contributed more than you. In fact, most of their contribution, you can never ever equate it. But you call them criminals. So what do you do? You take record of all the people that contributed. You keep it to yourself. After the contribution, you go back to them again. You go back to them again. And they said, okay, now you have con the, the people have made the contribution. Uh, okay, what is the... You know how you do it before. I don't know how you people do it before. I'm not, I'm not bothered about that. It's not my business. If it is to, to send money to ESN, you ask them, the people that made the fundraising. You, uh, have you sent the money to ESN? Uh, what is going on? A ESN is complaining that they did not receive the money and all that. If they tell you to go away, they don't want to deal with you. You write it down that they have, I have approached them. I have asked them the money for ESN. They refuse. You write it down. Except if that person that come and shout on Radio Biafra have information that we don't know about our leader. That is a different thing. But if he have information that one day our leader will come out, that is exactly what the person ought to have done. And why, uh, why should, why, you know, why do I say that this person should have done like this? Is because it is not only in one person's uh, 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 position to organize fundraising for ESN. Okay? So after these people have made their fundraising, you approach them. And you didn't get the kind of response you want to get. You note it down. Wait for our leader to come out. Except you are thinking that our leader is not going to come out again. So when you have done that, you note it down. Now what do you do? Go to the people. Go to the people and make your own fundraising where you can manage for the ESN. But remember. Remember, our leader approved one account for ESN. And there has never been any time another order have come that a new ESN account has been created. So what I am doing now, my support to fundraising is because one, there is ESN, our leader approved account in the flyer. And anybody who wants to contribute this money will pay the money directly to the ESN account. For somebody to come and say that they are not releasing the money to ESN, they are not remitting the money to ESN, is a secondary. What is it is an inside issue. You don't come to public and start telling people they are not remitting money to ESN. It is an inside thing. Because you are trying to create impression for Biafrans to hate the people that Onion do and trusted account to. But do you know what you do? You are destroying the struggle. Because when you think that people are going to listen to you by not going to fundraising to contribute their money, they will also not come to contribute to your own fundraising because you have created confusion. They no longer know what is going on. All these people you are hiring and paying their money to go to social media, they will not contribute funding for ESN. All the people that you are using to, to prove a point they will not contribute one kobo for ESN. So who is losing? And that is why I said, who are you working for? Who are you working for? Because if you try to blackmail the people who have the, uh, the uh, I don't know how many they are, but those who are responsible for managing the account of ESN, 
You are not blackmailing them. You are blackmailing the struggle itself. Because that thing you did yesterday on Radio Biafra will make a lot of people not to contribute money even to your own fundraising if you organize one. So what do you do as a leader? That was a very grave mistake. And I cannot sit down and, you know, um, I, you know, without addressing it, because this is a very sensitive issue that is going to cause this struggle a lot of damage. That somebody will come and start ranting like a dog in radio, accusing everybody, shouting they are criminals, Americans are criminals, and all that. If anything like that should come, it should not come from somebody who say he's a part of the leadership. It's a disgrace. And this evening, I have come to do two things. One is to prove to Biafrans that what I posted, the information, the people in that flyer and the account is verified account approved by Onion, Onion Do. And I have no reason whatsoever to, 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 to suspect the people that Onion Do have not condemned. Onion Do have not condemned the handlers of that account. So who am I to condemn them? Also, I have come to prove to you Umeri account. Yes, I have come to also prove to you when Onyendu was around with us here, I have been involved in all fundraising organized by people in America. I do not know any other person talking on Radio Biafra. I have never for once had a meeting or be involved in a fundraising that somebody from Radio Biafra, the, the, the one that talked yesterday on Radio Biafra, was part of the fundraising. So as Onyendu was abducted, I continued from where I stopped. I continued to do what I was doing, which is any day, the any day they, they say that is uh, fundraising, I will promote it. I will make sure I create awareness. For those who say Simon Ekpa is raising funds, Simon Ekpa is not raising funds. I have never organized any fundraising for ESN. I am not, a, I am not the one setting and scheduling fundraising for ESN. I am not in a position to do that. The people that are arranging and scheduling fundraising for ESN are principal officers and those who are in position to do that. And let me make it very clear this evening. Fundraising is not, as far as I have come to understand, is not the responsibility of the DOS to organize fundraising. It is not the responsibility of the DOS to organize fundraising. That is why there is something called the division of labor. The people that have the right and authority of Mazenam Bikano to organize uh, fundraising are the finance team and, or, or, and probably other people that were appointed to do so. So the DOS is not in position to organize fundraising. I want this particular point to be, you know, to, to go into your brain. Because ESN is also an independent, completely independent. I don't know them. They don't know me. But my own, from my own understanding and from what I have found out so far, to, because of my involvement, 
in what is going on, at least for this short while. The DOS have never ever been part of organizing fundraising. Never. The people in America have always spearheaded the fundraising of ESN. And let me tell you another thing. For the people who are responsible for, for organizing this uh, fundraising have what we call spreadsheet. Is it a spreadsheet or whatever they call it? And this spreadsheet, for example, people should understand that there are at least four things, four things that people should know when it comes to fundraising because it is very important that people know exactly how these things goes. Okay? Let me tell you. Let me tell you that, for example, for example, if, if uh, fundraising is being organized, I have never seen any place, I have never been in fundraising where people are donating money cash. The money has always gone to the approved ESN account. Now, this 14 I want you people to pay attention to. The DOS has never, has never been part of fundraising for ESN. And Mazinam Dikano, our leader, according to what I have found out for the short while I was involved in this thing, there is what our leader created called the fundraising spreadsheet, which was handed over to the finance department. And this spreadsheet is what the people organizing the fundraising are using as a guideline to raise funds for accountability, for transparency, and what have you. And let me also make it very clear again that finance department of IPOB is the only department that was given the spreadsheet and authorized to give out for to all the people making fundraising. So when you want to have a fundraising, you are going to have that spreadsheet. And that spreadsheet will contain all the donors' amount, information needed to audit the account. The auditor, according to what I have found out, is given a mandate to manage the audit of the fundraising activities. So if this information I have just given is available to everybody, who is in IPOB, why would you go to Radio Biafra and start poisoning the mind of people to attack the fund and the liquidate the account of ESN? This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable. What the, what the person is trying to do is to poison the mind of people donating for ESN. Nothing else. Because there is no, you know, there is no big deal in asking the people who want to make this fundraising, okay, if you do not give us the money, write it down. Wait for our leader to come out. Present it to him that these people did fundraising, you know, 
we didn't see the money. That person did fundraise, you know, we didn't see the money. The other people that did their own fundraise, you know, ESN did not see the money. These people that did fundraise, you know, they did not see the money. Since you can also organize your own fundraising with the spreadsheet that the finance department will give to you. So why do you want to go and spoil the other people making fundraising, thinking you are blackmailing them? You are not blackmailing them. You are blackmailing IPOB. You are blackmailing the finance team of IPOB. You are blackmailing the finance department. You are also, you know, dividing the movement and at the same time, poisoning the mind of those who are ready to bring their money to support the movement. And it is not, it. this will be condemned in entirety. That is why, you know, sometimes I don't want to respond to, to respond to all the foolish all the foolish thing happening. But this one, this particular one, this particular one is very important that I address it. And why I'm addressing it is to plead to people who want to contribute their own hard-earned money willingly to disregard everything you heard yesterday. Disregard it. Disregard it. That is an individual opinion. Is individual ignorant opinion of, uh, of an ignorant person. Disregard it. Continue to show your support for ESA because you do not know who is working against the movement. You do not also know everybody is a suspect, including myself. But allow me, allow me to demonstrate that I have done something that you are going to suspect me. Some of you, some of you don't even know why you are attacking Simon Ekpa. You don't know. They only tell you something, you start, they say, go and attack him, you go and attack him. You don't know why you are attacking Simon Ekpa. But I told you, I will be your last bus stop in IPOB. I will be your last bus stop. Ndi Nzama. Nzama people. Nzama people that choose to do Nzama on the blood of Biafrans. And when you don't see the Nzama, when you don't see the Nzama, you will start shouting. Tomorrow is the, uh, uh, fundraising for IPOB women in the USA. Next tomorrow is fundraising for ESN. If you know you love what Mazin and Bikano have done, you must come and support them. You must come and support the fundraising and allow the appropriate authority within the IPOB to do the needful if anybody embezzled IPOB money. What they have come to do is to liquidate the account of ESN, thereby trying to end the struggle. And then they will turn around and accuse Simon Ekpa. Samanepa is hijacking it. Samanepa is hijacking it. He is hijacking IPOB. He is hijacking it. He want to hijack everybody. They will turn around. Meanwhile, they are busy using our holy radio to castigate the fundraising of ESA. Whether it is whether the people want to eat the money, whether they want to embezzle the money, it is not your. You, it is not in your place to come to Radio Biafra and start ranting and shouting. To discourage the donors. And let me say it again. What they have done is, as they are trying to discourage the donors for the 17th of, uh, of uh, October's uh, fundraising, they don't know that they are also discouraging the, the, the donors that will come to them. Because a lot of people who want to come to them to, to, them to donate a fund for ESN, they will not come. Because everybody don't know what is going on. There is chaos being created, unnecessary, unnecessary chaos being created everywhere for by people who are ought to be managing the crisis. They are the one creating it. Now, let me say it again. I will continue to support fundraising coming from anywhere, so long as it is for ESN. I will support it. There has never been any time during our leader 
where you say uh, DOS have to approve fundraising because it is not in their position to do so. It is not in their position to do so. That they have to approve fund fundraising before you can raise funds to, for, for, for ESN. When there are departments that have been given that right to do that, and they call them finance department. I am not part of them. That is why it is very important if you are handling any position, go to leadership training and learn what is called administrative procedures. Administrative procedures. Go and learn how to administer leadership, how to make leadership, how to rule. It is not just in the struggle. This is a struggle that have department from department to department. Even it is command and control. Go and also learn what is command and control. Go and learn it. It is not just about command and control as a word. Go and learn what is command and control. The ESN is the most important department now and must not be toyed with. Whatever, whatever you are doing, don't try to toy with this ESN, whether you are right or wrong. My own is that I am going to support any fundraising that they say is for ESN. Whether the money go to ESN or whether the money don't go to ESN or I am not in position to do to 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 start to judge whether the money go. The people that will do that are there, and our leader is going to come out. Except if you people are saying that it's not going to come out again, tell us what you know that we don't know. Now, I want to I want to play the voice of the leader, or at least two of the leadership of this movement. Confirming that one, the flyer I posted contained account of Umweri, and that account was approved by our leader. And I have no any reason, no any reason whatsoever. If you are fighting person, somebody individually, don't bring it. Don't bring it to to the struggle. If you have any problem with any, if you have any problem with me, don't bring it to the to the struggle. Let the problem be, be, be between me and you. If you have a problem with somebody else, don't bring it to the struggle. Don't want, don't uh, bring any everybody to be the enemy of your enemy. It doesn't work like that. If you don't like somebody in this struggle, when you uh, encounter that person, just take all the all the problem you have with that with that person, put it aside. If you want to discuss the issue of IPOB or the struggle for Biafra, put every problem you have with that person, put it aside. Put it aside. And deal with the issue. After dealing with the issue, you take your problem and go. Any day you meet with the, the person and you don't want, and it is not about IPOB, you can kill yourself. Because you are, you are endangering the life of people, destroying the struggle because of hatred you have, with, you have a, about somebody. And for that reason, I want you to understand, I want to play this voice. One moment. Because, because I said I'm not going to be addressing you people. Every day you'll be looking for Simon Epper. And let me also make it very clear that uh, Madam, Madam Bridget, Madam Bridget Okafor, Madam Bridget Okafor also was accused Because in that broadcast, they told you that uh, Ecoso fundraising, that Ecoso family did not see the money. In order to poison the mind of donors, they said fundraising was conducted for Ecoso and they did not see the money. And the same person is telling you, the same person is telling you that, that uh, they approve finance, they approve fundraising for on the 16th. That is the only one they approve for Bruce Fenn. And the, the same person is accusing the people in America for raising funds for Ecoso and the family of Ecoso didn't see it. And Madam Bridget was one of the people that raised the fund for Ecoso. 
The same Madam Bridget now is the same woman raising fund tomorrow, the 16th. They approved the raising of some of fund. And at the same time, that person was already be a castigating that woman, working day and night for this struggle. And let me say it, Madam Bridget is coming on Radio Biafra tomorrow, 3 p.m. Biafra time, to clarify this, this scandalous allegation against her. And at the same time, and at the same time, Madam Bridget Okafo is the one also organizing the fundraising tomorrow. Now, they gave her the permission and approval, according to them, to raise funds tomorrow, and they went to Radio Biafra to blackmail her. That, they want, that they, she raised funds for Ecoso, and they didn't see it. And they started branding her criminals, a criminal, calling them criminals. Or is it that the person who spoke yesterday on Radio Biafra, is it that he is not aware? That it was the same Madame Bridget that organized, worked tirelessly, st stood almost seven hours doing fundraising for Ecoso Foundation. Is he not aware of that? After giving approval for the same Madame Bridget to raise fund tomorrow, they came to Radio Biafra and blackmail her, call her criminal. What sense does it make? I'm asking you. Does it make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. Because they were shouting, we approve only Bruce Fed. We approve only Bruce Fed. At the same time, they are accusing American women of a, of a raising fund for Ecoso and the family of Ecoso didn't see it. It is the same person, the same woman who is working and having sleepless night to raise fund and do, make this happen. The same woman that have the Ecoso Foundation. The same woman is organizing the tomorrow, which they give approval, but they still come back to Radio Biafra to blackmail that woman, call her, call her criminal. But I want every Biafra to listen to Radio Biafra tomorrow, 3 p.m., Biafra time. She will be on air. She will be on air. To clear it, because if we do not address these unscrupulous individuals parading themselves as, as leaders, they are going to destroy this movement. They are going to dis destroy you with ignorance. And if we come, they say they have been here for they have been here for twenty years. Who who cares how how many years you have been here? We are fighting for Biafra. Everybody is a, a stakeholder in Biafra. Any day you wake up is your money. Any day you wake up is your money. You use uh, you have been here for twenty years as an as as a, as a certificate to do what others cannot do. Now I want everybody to listen because what I'm doing, anything I want to get involved is to make sure that I do what Onion Dumas and Namdi Kano have instructed, and his directive is what I'm following. Have the right to test Simon Ekba, not to broadcast. Even a Yoruba man is still recommended. It's called Mayegu. I know Mayegu. A Yoruba program. man is still recommended by Mazi Namdi Kano. I don't know if you get me. Yeah, I'm listening. What Simon... And one thing is that I want everybody to listen to this uh, voice. This was the voice of our sister who came here the other day to tell how a DOS member was calling her to go and attack Simon Epa. They have done it to several people. And it is time we begin to show to Biafrans what is going behind the scene. And if DOS is not part of, if this person is not part of DOS, DOS will come and say that we should disregard him. They went to one of our sister that is also making broadcast. They said they are going to sponsor her, her, her birthday on one condition. On one condition. And the, the, our sister asked which condition. 
they say you must go to your to your platform and start attacking Simon Epa that he sold Mazenam the can. That our sister said, how can she do that? That that she cannot do that because she don't know she she cannot attack Simon Epa because Simon Epa did not do anything. They said, okay, if you cannot do it, then we will not sponsor your birthday. That our sister said, ah, if not that one will take your birthday, I'm not interested. And I believe she's watching me now. The next day, yes, birthday. They believe that they promised to sponsor her birthday. And then, and then she refused. The next day, they block her. She celebrated that birthday. And by the way, I want to wish you a happy birthday. I don't want to call your name now before they will begin to talk. So, they approach her. That is if she has not said that on her own platform. Now, I want, so if this thing must stop, it must stop. And every time they say, don't talk. Simon Ekman, I told you people, if you mention my name once more or reference me once more, Redo Biafra, I'll assign you carefully. Assign you carefully. I want you people to listen because this is getting out of hand. Have the right to tell Simon Ekman not to broadcast. Even a Yoruba man is still recommended. It's called Mayegu. I know Mayegu. A Yoruba man is still recommended by Mazi Nandikano. I don't know if you get me. Yeah, I'm listening. What Simon is doing, Simon is doing a good job. I'm not saying he's not doing a good job. There are some certain things Simon need to put behind him. You understand me? Okay. Simon always come out and um, there are some issues he talk about. He don't need to talk about himself. Oh. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Like they start um, scandalizing him. You said you will meet the president of Finland. You, know, you did not meet him. Um, the president of Finland was in um, was in um, what is he called? He did what not say he will meet president of Finland. They are two. He did not say. He did not say that anyway. He said he will present a letter he to did. the president of. Uh, he did. Listen to me. But listen to me, I'm not a talking type. If you know me, I'm Luka, not a talking type. Listen, okay. listen to the if fool. You, said, yeah, you present the letter. You don't need to come start. There are things you don't come here and talk. Listen if to the fool. I know when Mazina Dikanu was the, going to America negotiating with people. And this time on it, I know that Mazina Dikanu meet, um, meet Putin. You see? I want, did you hear what he said? This is the fools. That call themselves, they say if you uh, he will open your mouth and say he's DOS. And that is why I am calling officially on DOS to distance themselves from this man. He said, he said that whether I'm aware that Mazinam the Kanu meet Putin. The same man, he went further to say that uh, he, the Putin cancelled the, the, the meeting. I want you to listen. Just listen. This are, and this is how they do. They parade themselves going from one people to another to solicit for attack. That is why you see them everywhere. Any day Simon Epa do something, all of them, those, those idiots that don't know what, you know, that agree to them, they will begin to attack Simon Epa. What Simon Epa have done? Nothing. Tell me, if I go to a uh, 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 Finland president and come to announce it, is that a problem? Is that your problem? Did you send me there? Did you send me there? You didn't send me. So why is that a problem? Why is it your problem? Did you send me to go to Finland president after going that I should not tell anybody? Did you send me? He did not send me. So why are you bitter about that? Why? Now, I want everybody to listen to this guy. Did Simon Epa know that Mazin and the Kanu book appointment to meet with Putin? Putin refused to receive Mazin and the Kanu. But Putin, the, the president... Did you hear that? And again, he changed it. He changed it again. Uh, Mazin and the Kanu meet Putin. Uh, do you know that he book appointment and Putin refused? Look at how they go and go to people and start vomiting rubbish. And he will turn back again and say, I am a member of DOS. So DOS must come public because a lot of people have created a very bad impression. They will be talking on, on, on social media. I am a, I am a, I am a, they will talk as if they are DOS. So DOS must come. 
and and make the set the record very straight because the people are dating the image of the leadership. They are dating the image. A lot of people are believing that some tout are members of DOS. Tout. So why would you be listening and ignore these things going on? Why would you ignore it? Listen, just listen. The Prime Minister of, um, of um, Israel meet with Mazin and can meet with him and with other leaders. What remains is Angela Merkel and Putin. But Mazin and the Kanu did not come and start broadcasting it. Okay. It's people that is working on the underground. We as a DOS member, we listen to this thing. Did you hear I that? Joined, I become member of DOS. That was February this year. Did you hear that? I become the member of DOS. That was February of this year. And this is how they are spoiling the name of DOS. That is if they are not. Too. That is if they are not. Somebody is telling me to take it easy. <laughs> my brother <laughs> or my sister, I don't know which one you are. I'm not taking it easy because I told them. I told them. You go to Radio Biafra, the only thing you do is to talk, reference me. If you don't mention my name, you talk about the one dancing on Facebook. If you don't talk about the one dancing on Facebook, you talk about the one using immigration to scam Biafra. If you don't talk about the one using immigration to scam Biafra, you talk about the one who is uh, uh, shouting and ranting on Facebook and what have you. A lot of references are there. But I want that I will take you individually. Why would somebody go to somebody to try to blackmail me and for the person to start attacking me? Because I, I went to Finland president office, submitted a letter, came to inform Biafras that we have submitted a letter which was targeted at creating awareness. It would become a problem to them. Why should you come public and, and announce it? I want you to listen to this idiot. And let me tell you, this man claimed that he's my friend. He's not my friend. I don't know him. I don't know who the hell he is. I don't know him. He lied to the person he was talking to that he's my friend, that he's going to call me. I don't know who the hell he is. He don't, he, they cannot call me. If he's calling me as a random person, it's a different thing. I don't know who he is. Because I was in Nigeria. So what I'm trying to say, there are some of the things you don't need to be bringing to here. Most of the people now are Simon, most of the people now are at this program. They are working with Fulanese. Let me just tell you the secret if you don't know. There are some people who come here, they will start listening. They, in the block many now, on our block many of them. In the block many of them. Mm -hmm. In the block, many of them, there are some people that come here, they put confusion. They put confusion. Anything this man talk, they will treat him like this because he even he will be vomiting many things he does not supposed to. Okay, yeah. did you hear him? Anything this man say, they will twist it. And he know that they are twisting anything this man say. He went for that to, uh, to solicit for attack. For the person to start attacking me. But he know he's by himself oh, because of the way this person he is calling now is resisting and correcting him. He turned around. That anything I say, they twist it. But yet, he wants the woman to attack me. He wants the woman. I will not move on. Oh. I want Biafras to understand what is going on. The evil that some people are doing. Calling themselves Biafra agitators and leaders. Biafra should know. This is the reason why we Mazen and Dikano want to do something. They are not aware of it. Because if, he, if they are aware of it, they are going to draw him 10 years backward. Evil people. Evil people. They parade themselves. They are there. But whenever Mazen and Dikano want to do something, they are not aware of it. Because of their evil and their wicked mind. When you want to make progress, just tell them. They will make sure it didn't work. That's why I, I remove my heart from Azen Amdikan. Evil people everywhere. He knows that 
He knows that uh, 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 they twist my word. He still went to ask somebody to attack me. You don't take truth. You don't take your true fix and put in the mouth. Okay. That is our major. That is our major direction now. Okay. Their major direction now is that because according to them, I am SND boy in Finland. I am not an SND boy in Finland. <laughs> he said that I am SND boy in Finland, and I must drop SND boy in Finland and face one. Can you imagine? And their direction now, according to him from the DOS, is that I am an SND boy in Finland and I must drop SND boy in Finland and face one. Don't take two things and put in your mouth. You must drop one and focus on one. You know what I'm saying. One thing about it is that he's my friend. He's my friend. He is not my, he's my friend. He's yeah, a there is something... I'm talking with you now. I can call him and put him in conference. You see, yeah. tell him is... he is not my friend. <laughs> he is not. I don't know him. I don't know who the hell he is. He is not my friend. He is not my friend. He is only trying to deceive the girl or the lady to attack me. And, and the lady was telling him, how can you come and be talking something like this about your friend? He's not my friend. I don't know him. I want you to watch. Talk later. See, there is something people don't understand. Before Simon Epa begin to say something, people instigate it. They make him say something that he wouldn't want to. There are so many things Simon Epa is hiding. I don't know him, man. No, you know, there are sometimes when where they were... You know, for some reason, I'm the canal in to, to bring this money, to bring it, to do this, to, that, that, that is stealing money from people. When the canal was forced to be uh, releasing accounts on her, because of the pressure of people, it, someone like that is a human being. I don't know him from anywhere. He's a human being. Because the canal did almost the same thing someone like that is doing today. No, because you, if you're a member of the you people are not trying at all. You people are not trying at all. We are, you are not trying. You don't have to, you, you don't have to say that Simon Nepa is a flaw. <laughs> he's not. I. He's my friend. Man. I tell him. But you cannot be talking to, 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 talking about your friend like this. When it is your friend, you cannot be talking. I can't talk to my talk about my friend. I can't talk about you like this. Why? No matter what. Why? I didn't say any bad things. I'm gonna I didn't say any bad things. I'm gonna say anyway. You will not see it. You will not see it. We are not stupid now. We are not stupid. They are not stupid. That's why we are not stupid. We are not, we are not, stupid. We are not that dumb. We are not that. We are not that fool. We can see when somebody is going astray. Yeah. Hello. I'm listening. There is things. There is things. But DOS are not saying anything. I believe that member of some DOS are the ones. They are not no, doing. Like, I don't. I don't no, like accuse. No, DOS are not doing no, anything. You don't. No. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Eh? This thing. There. There are something that is going on. That. Do you do you know that do you know that most of do you know that most of the stupid and idiotic and and bunch of fools eh, among the I among the IPOB struggle do you know that most of the politicians like the likes of Sonudo and Chris Uba and some other people are trying to buy them? Which people? Do you know that some politicians, the likes of Solodo, Chris, no, are trying to buy which people? They are trying to buy most. They are trying to buy most of the IPOB top member. Mm, if they have not bought it, the if they are not bought in some of them, member. because there are some certain things people will not. Do you know how many attack Simon Epa has gotten, and he came on here and debunked it. At the end of the day, it comes to be a lie. You understand? Do you have a listen, eh? They have bought it for me. I know they have bought. I believe they have bought some DOS members. Remember, I talk. I believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking. I'm not talking of the. If you people are talking DOS, you people are. That is where we are making mistakes. That is where we are making mistakes. But he is talking to somebody on behalf of DOS, presenting himself as DOS. So that is why it is very important for DOS to come and distance themselves from those. Including those broadcasting on on uh, on um, on uh, social media, uh, uh, claiming they are they are the one representing DOS. Including those who are going to people, calling them like this one, 
you know, presenting himself as a DOS. So when people hear this kind of thing, that is where you see the attack coming to, to DOS. That is where you see the attack, the people are calling the DOS names. Because people have gone in the secret to present themselves as DOS and they are, they, and they, believe me, they are in contact. If they are not DOS, they are in contact with DOS. To tell them now it is time for us to walk. Let us bring Samaneta down. Let us kill him. Let us make sure we finish him. Let us blackmail him. Let us do this. Let us do that. And they go to people individually and present themselves as DOS. So what impression are you trying to give the people you are talking to? After you talk to the person, the person will say, ah, is that the DOS? Is that how they do? And when they, when they come online and start expressing what they have encountered, you say they are attacking you. You say they are insulting DOS. But look at them. Let DOS come and distance itself from people like this that goes to people and constitute users. Including those broadcasting every day, shouting Samaneta, and they keep quiet. Every day, Samaneta don't talk. Keep quiet, keep quiet. And they are enjoying it. And they have never come on Radio Biafra and caution people. Say, all these people attacking our brother Samaneta, leave him, he has not done anything bad. They cannot do it. But every time, don't allow anybody to insult the US. Don't allow anybody to insult the US. Meanwhile, the people that may be insulting you, somebody have gone and misrepresented you. And you are not doing anything about it. Because DOS is not the higher authority in IPOB. They have district ward. We know. Okay, did you hear that? He said DOS is not the higher authority in IPOB that they have district ward. Now listen, I didn't say it to. We, 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 we know. What I'm telling you about top members. I'm telling you about top members. We know. No, we, uh, we're, uh, we're, uh, listen to me. Can go and the truth. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we are any powerhouse of IPOB in any part of Europe. Uh, the powerhouse of IPOB is in two countries, London and US. Most especially Florida, Michigan, and New York. All these things are seen in the within Europe today are just now in the news. Now in the question of the human powerhouse, people that bring money, now in the ESM, the men, the men, the men, the men, the men, the the men, the same America, the same America, they are now attacking. The same America, they are calling criminals. That is why it is very important that I have come to make this broadcast. To, to, to ask those in America who are supporting this struggle never to back down, never to listen to any gossip, never to listen to those who may have been bought by Nigeria government and they still parade themselves that they are in the struggle. Don't listen to them. If you believe in Biafra, of which Mazin Abdikano is parading, if you believe in Biafra, my people, that thing you have been doing when Mazen Abdikano was still here. Continue to do it without looking back. Continue to support and fund ESN without looking back. Any day Mazen Abdikano is going to come out, we are going to see who have done right and who have done wrong. And if they say we have done wrong, then we, are, we, are, we know a way to go forward. But Ucho Nyadi Anjo, all we are doing now is that we are not, we are people who are sensible. We, don't, we are not pushed around. You cannot come and uh, tell me, yes, we apologize if that is the case. You cannot come now and tell me, uh, oh, Mazenam, they can't leave somebody, you know. So the person say, go and go, 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 go to this fire. Let us leave you into fire. And then I will say, because Mazenam, they can't leave him, let me go and uh, go, uh, go into the fire and the fire will consume me. So that when the fire consume me, nobody will do what I'm doing. Is that what you are trying to tell me? I am not part of that kind of human being. I don't do that. I stand on what I have been doing while Mazin Namdekano is here, and I will stand on it until he comes back. So those, are, those people in America, don't ever listen to anybody that is telling you not to contribute for fund or for ESN. Never listen to anybody. That even if they are if they are making fundraising on their own, go there and contribute. Any fundraising at all that they say is for ESN and it is going to the ESN account. 
go there and support them. If there is anybody that is eating the money of Biafra, it's blood money. It's blood money. The day is coming when they are going to give account of it. Now, to, because I said this broadcast is going to be 45 minutes or so, but now we have spent almost one hour. Now, I am going to play another audio, another voice that vindicate me for posting that flyer. The audio that vindicate me for posting that flyer. I want everybody to listen. I spoke to Lady Chinyere when I got a message from Onyendu, and I delivered Onyendu's message. I know what she told me, and she told me, I, she, she told me um, she will not send the money to the new ESL account. I said, okay, if that is you, your decision, I have delivered my message. As in, as in uh, our people say, when you send this child to, to go and deliver a message to the king, you will go. Uh, if you tell you know how to bring the king on your own, he said, oh, I, I, to read the so I, I delivered the message. And then when I got the response, I went ahead and offered her to um, inform um, Lady Chinyere that only in this instruction is that if she does not want to transfer the money in that legend account to the ESN account in USA, that the fund in the, the lives and should be frozen. Frozen in the sense that no money will be removed out of that again. And on my last broadcast, or second to the last broadcast, I made this information as well because I want, I, as much as is possible, I try to be transparent when it does not endanger anybody or it does not endanger either. I try to try. So I delivered that message. So now the question you asked me here, and if the ESN phone, when we have said every ESN phone goes to the new account that we are struggling to open, that is the instruction and that is how it should stand. That is the instruction and that is how it is. This is the head of the DOS that every ESN fund should go to the new account Onyendu approved, which is the Umweri account. The Umweri account is the same information in the fundraising I posted. Whether it is approved, whether it is not approved, shouldn't be an issue. You don't bring politics into fundraising for ESN. You don't, you don't do that. You don't try to catch and bring your whatever politics into the fund of ESN. You are going to destroy it. You understand? Why would you turn around and start giving approval for, 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 for ESN fundraising when the financial department are independent? The only thing you need to do is to ask for accountability. Accountability. And that is why I am doing this today. To salvage the mess. To salvage the mess and call the mind and subconsciousness of those who may have been angered by the ranting of yesterday or Radio Biafra. Anybody that organized fundraising for ESN and it is going to the right account, support it. support it. And if there is any problem, let it be an inside thing. Let it be an in-house problem. Solve it inside, internally. Don't come to Radio Biafra and shout about America is criminal and women are criminals. If you cannot resolve it, then you have a problem. ESN account. I don't know who is here. They, they have, they, they, some of them are commenting on social media. Simon Ekpa don't have a, a, any power ESN. I don't have power. Simon Ekpa don't know ESN. I don't know ESN. 
Samuel Ekpa did not know where they from ESA. I don't know where they from ESA. Samuel Ekpa did not uh, uh, have a direct uh, contact. I don't have direct contact. And I don't want to have. But my own is that you see that you see that foundation that Onyendo have put in place to secure our land. It has to be protected. Very important. Finance is everything. Finance is everything. You can come and uh, use your ignorant and your ill experience to, to destroy everything. It can work like that. So if you want to raise your own fund, you raise your own fund. And let people, so long as it is for ESN and it is going to the approved account of ESN, you raise your own fund. And you, 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 be, you will request the financial department to give you what Onion Duke approved called the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet will have the details of the donors and the amount they donated. There's no difference. There's no exception. The ESN fund was authorized by the animals in America. And Mrs. Oyibu was given the authorization to open that account. I know what Onyendu said when people complained about the name. He said, even if the name is, belongs to an animal, that is the, 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 the account that he has authorized for funds for ESN to go in there. So Onyendu authorized and gave o Madame Oyibo authority to look over that particular account. That position have not changed. And Madame Oyibo consent is in the flyer that I shared. I did not make the flyer. I did not plan the flyer. So the flyer was forwarded to me. I shared it as usual. Why would somebody go to Radio Biafra and start talking about me? Hmm? Why? And the, some of you who they have approached and probably bought you uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, data, you call and start commenting rubbish. You cannot even read. You don't even, you can, when I post something, you can't even read it. You just begin to put your comment that already they have written for you. You know, you copy it and just paste and then you start commenting. When I, this is just because of ESN. If you, if you push me like you have pushed everybody, if you push me like you have pushed Madam Bridget, Madam Bridget is coming to Radio Biafra tomorrow, 3 p.m. to address the, the accusation against her. Because it is getting out of hand. You know, some people are already running mad. You never run mad, though. You are going to run mad. Because I told you, I will be the one that will be your last bus stop in your impunity in the struggle for Biafra. After you, after you, you, you finish with me, you will know that you meet a man. You will know that you meet a man. I am a gentle, I am a traditionalist, I am a Christian, I am a believer. Udo Abuni will tell you I am loaded. Anyhow you want it, I am loaded. I am there. 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 I will give it to you. If you come to Nirako or Enyengia, anyhow you want it, come to politics. I am there. If you do not believe me, continue what you are doing. Add them all around. Loaded. I am addressing just, just because of this ESNO. The day I am going to remember you in a different thing. Oga Debu. Oga Debu. I want, ev I want everybody to listen to the end. And I believe that I am doing this because nobody can draw my Zedozo into the squabbles that is going on. I am there to carry out those things that will make this family to move ahead. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I am going to do everything that is going to make this thing go forward. And the way I have been doing it before, I have not changed. I have not changed. I want you to listen to another audio that vindicated me. I want you to listen. Mr. Uh, Ms. Oibo has been, do you understand me, making sure that what the ESN they need, that they are getting it. Apart from lately, let me agree that she says she's a little bit busy. So let me give that benefit of doubt. Because before, it doesn't take long for her to solve this problem. 
Let me just leave it like that. But she has been, you know, living up to expectation for what we are doing. It's only just this past week that we are not reaching her. That's all. Okay. That's, she has been doing her best. She has been doing her best so far. Unless this past week. Yeah. I think it's because of the politics in America. Yeah. yeah but so far, that politics, we, are not yeah, we are not interested. Yes. Yes, we are not. Yeah. So now, after listening to what I have done, my conclusion and my advice is this. Next time, if uh, there is a problem between the people handling account and the leadership of IPOB on accountability, what do you do? What you do is contact the people that conducted or that organized the fundraising Ask them question. If there is, if they refuse to uh, to answer your question, you note it down. Another thing is that there is accounting department in IPOB which foresee audit of account and whatever that you need to know. If they did not cooperate with you, you write it down. It is your job. Write it down and wait for Onyendu to come out. Instead of coming to Radio Biafra. Instead of coming to Rodeo Biafra and they bring cause confusion and begin to cause confusion. If you come to Radio Biafra and start addressing this kind of thing, you are not addressing it. You are not. What you are doing is you are creating division, you are confusing the donors, you are making people not to trust the account of IPOB, you are making people to be suspicious of everything, and at the end, they will not donate when you con when you have your own fundraising. They will also not donate to the people you have castigated and try to poison the people's mind against. So who is losing? This is how you are going to be doing it. Is an advice. If you like, take it. If you like, don't take it. Next time, come on Radio Biafra and start. We know that some of you have been paid. Some of you have been paid. Some of you have been promised something to begin to, to, to stay inside and be injecting something in the struggle, causing confusion everywhere. Let me say it for the last time. If you have any problem with the people accounting department of IPOB, let it be internal. Don't come public to start talking on Radio Biafra. Because what you are doing, you are discouraging the people who are bringing this money willingly. You cannot be threatening people who want to contribute their money. Is it your money? Did you give them money? Are they your children? You come to, to radio and you'll be shouting, uh, or, 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 shouting to women. Women who some of you cannot enter their office in America. You call them all manner of derogatory names. Just because Mazenam Dekano is not here. You are calling our women criminals. You are calling our women a shower. You are calling our women all manner of names. Just because you have the opportunity to do that. Insulting people anyhow. Thinking that uh, you, you have monopoly. Monopoly to insult and monopoly to shout and rant. You don't have monopoly for that. Go and learn manners. Manner. Go and learn manner. You don't insult and look down on women. You need to be trained and nurtured in a civilized world. In this 21st century, our women that are respected all over the world. We are the president of IMF, my people. What is it? Is it World Bank? Is it World Bank? We are the president of World Bank. I don't know which one was the, is the president. These are our women. Representing women, you are there talking down on women. Idiot. Idiot. How many of you can achieve what women have, what Igbo and the Biafra women have achieved? How many of you, you are talking down on our, on our women because you are in the same struggle? The WTO, thank you. What trade, what the trade organization? Yes, Okonjo Iwala is the president also of the World Trade Organization. She's a woman. She's a woman, a Biafra. And you are there, insulting. Some of them will come and be opening their smelling mouth. 
Why you not need to go and you marry? Why you need to go and you marry? Eh, that all this eh, I show them eh, people who live who leave their husband. What what the hell? And I am part of this this stupid idiotic people who don't have respect to women. Our women, our women is being and are being respected. All over the world. Mazinam the Kano respect our women. He adored them. He have campaigned and campaigned and campaigned and said any day our women will come out. Biafra has come. And all of a sudden, the women are coming out little by little. And somebody, some nonentity somewhere, some inconsequential buffoon somewhere will be insulting our women on Radio Biafra. I can't allow that. I will read it on you. You can insult me, but not our women. I share the same ideology with Mazin Amdikano. I share the same opinion on women but Mazin, uh, with Mazin Amdikano. I share the same understanding with every civilized individual all over the world. I am living in a civilized society where women are respected. And I respect women. How can I be in a struggle where somebody will come and be insulting women? You pee, you 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 squat, you you bend down to pee. You want to talk to me as a man? Who are you? Let me shout like you. Although uh, no, I don't need to shout like you because I'm not a dog. But let this be the last time this kind of nonsense will be happening. Otherwise, we'll be I will be addressing you, and when I'm addressing you, Biafra will be receiving sense. I don't want to do that. I have kept quiet because of Mazen Amdikano, but because this particular attack on ESN is the one we cannot fold our hand and watch. Our brother, I don't, you know, Darlington. Yeah, because they have said that Darlington is the one that is doing this and with Samanet. Our Darlington have been hammering on this particular ESN. All this why. But I believe the time has come. If they have if they have decided to be attacking fundraising for ESN, the time has come that we, we are all going to delve into this thing and make sure we fight tooth to tooth to protect the interests of ESN. The fund, like I said, I am not interested in where the money go. I am not interested in who is handling the money. It is not coming to me. It is not in my account. But the money is going to the approved account of Onyemdu. Now, what happens after that is another thing. It is not my business. My business is that I am doing what I should do to protect the interests of ESN. I don't know who they are. All of you agree that, that like, I'm not, I, I don't have their contact. I don't have their contact. I don't want to have their contact. So if you have problem with the finance, sort it out inside, inside the family. Inside the family, sort it out. And if you cannot sort it out, you are a failure. A failure, completely woefully failure. Because the time has gone today, I wanted to make a position on the juju that the military men brought to Biafra land. And that juju, I will not do it today because this is now one hour, almost one hour, 30 minutes. And I know that a lot of people want to comment. I will not allow that. Tomorrow you can make your comment. Because if I allow you now to comment, you are going to break the table and I don't want you to break the table. So I want everybody to go and meditate on the exposition, analysis, and advice I have given today on this particular issue. We must fight. Nobody will liquidate the ESN account. Frank, send me email. On this note, I say thank you. May God bless you. Ami and GGS, may God bless you. So our, our, <laughs> I don't say, <laughs> I don't say, <laughs> I said, I'm not, ready to, I'm not ready to break coconut, coconut, but no, 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 I'm not going to break the coconut. I have just uh, done a, 
I've done, I've done the I've done my job. All right. On this note, I say thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow we continue to expose the juju that we want to expose. That this time, this one is even more important than any. So I am begging every other person that is going to watch this program, and you are part of the donors, you are part of the contributors. Make sure you are part of tomorrow's. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. We need to. I need to show the tomorrow's. The tomorrow's. Uh, Fundraising, the fundraising for ESN. A moment. Tomorrow fundraising for ESN. I have posted it. I have posted the link. I have posted the link to the Zoom on the, on the, on the uh, on our page. So you can go tomorrow, the, uh, the fundraising start 4 p.m. Biafra time. 4 p.m. Biafra time. And uh, Madam Bridget Okafo will be live on Radio Biafra 3 p.m. to address this nonsense and this distraction that they are creating every day. Here is the information for tomorrow fundraising. Make sure you take a screenshot, copy it, Information is here, and uh, according to them, this is the one that is approved for tomorrow. And then also the the next tomorrow uh, fundraising is on the 17th, which is this. It is still holding, and we will expect people, those who uh, in uh, North America and other parts of the world, be part of this fundraising, and uh, it shall be well with you. Our own is to make sure. We, 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 we protect the interest and the fund of ESN. If the money didn't go to ESN, it will be something for another day. And if the money is not going to ESN, according to how some of them are claiming, it is, a issue of, it is an internal issue and must be sorted out. Because of that allegation, we cannot stop ESN fund. We cannot stop ESN fundraising because some people are alleging something that nobody has any substantial evidence against it or about it. All right, thank you very much. Make sure you are tomorrow, you are part of this fundraising. I'm going to also come live during the fundraising mm -hmm. and to, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, yes, yes. And uh, so we are going to continue from where we stop. May God bless you. May God bless Biafra. May God bless the Dua Republic. May God bless uh, Middle Belt, may God bless Amazonia, may God bless you, may God bless IPB worldwide, may God bless ESN, may God bless Mazin and Mikano, may God bless on the Igbo and all of you. Remember, we are going to go to North Korea to make alliance. This is a, something that we are going to do at all costs because we are desperately looking for freedom. And since the West and America is not shaking, we are going to their enemy to shake them. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Good night. I love you all from here.